Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a video on the Lug Ranger. So what I'll do today is I'm going to show you how it wears on the body, what it can hold inside, and just give you a review on my thoughts of the Ranger. So if you want to see more, then just keep watching. So I didn't think I needed the Ranger because it's more of a north-south orientation and I like the east-west orientations better, but so many people were talking about how great it was and I thought, well, you know what? You never know something unless you give it a try. So I thought I would give it a try and see if I liked it because so many people seem to rave about it and love this bag and it's a favorite for so many people. And also, Sandra, thank you so much for asking me to do this video because I am super excited that I finally ordered it and I love this bouquet blue that I got it in. I don't have anything in this color. I think this is such a gorgeous color and I ended up with two of them. I ordered one off Amazon because, you know, I've just waited for almost a year to buy one and then all of a sudden I have to have it immediately. So I want that two day shipping. So I ordered it off of Amazon and then I found it at QVC for a much better price. So I ordered it off of QVC. And when I received it, I had two completely different print placements. And so I went on the Facebook page and asked which print everyone liked better. And it was overwhelmingly that this print was a better choice. So, so I kept this print and sent the other one back. And I am so happy with this bag. This is a great bag. I don't know why I waited so long to get it. So what I'll just do in this video is I'm going to show you at the very end how it wears on the body. But before that, I just want to show you all of the capacity that this can hold and kind of go through all of the different compartments that it has. So I have this packed completely full. So you can see like a side view. You can see how full this is. And even with it completely full, it doesn't hurt my shoulders at all. I received this last week. So I've been carrying this for about a week completely packed just to see if it's going to hurt my shoulders or anything like that because I do have it completely packed packed as full as it can get and see if it did any damage to the bag or, or put any stress on any of the zippers and it doesn't seem to. It seems to be a really well made bag and like I said, I love this gorgeous print. It's so pretty. So you can see the side view right here of how fully packed it is, but it's still not a very heavy bag. So let's just go ahead and go through the different compartments. I'll just show you what I have in here and when I get finished showing you everything that's in here and all the different compartments, I also wanted to show you a few of the things that I thought might fit that didn't and and a few other of the lug bags that'll fit in here really well if you want to see any of that. So let's just go ahead and get started. So this very front has this really pretty quilting detail that most of their bags have. It's a really pretty quilting. And so the front zipper is just a single zip in the front. And then you can see it has this really pretty confetti lining in it. It's a really pretty lining inside. So I just have a face mask with its little pouch in the front. And this has a little bit of wine color in it. And the wine can kind of match this a little bit. It's a little bit of a contrast. If you just look at, don't look at the pattern, of course the pattern doesn't match. But that wine color does look really pretty with it. And then this uh, green color that's in it looks really good. And then this like grayish green color looks really good with it too. Um, and I also like it with this lavender color. I know there's not a lot of lavender bags, but I do like that. So I have a face mask and a pouch that will all fit in the front with this tissue holder and then some hand sanitizer. It is a two ounce hand sanitizer. And then of course the hand lotion, which is a one ounce of the hand lotion. So I have the trial sizes in the front and then it has a key leash in here. And what I like to use my key leash for is my earbuds. So those fit in there really well. So that's what I was able to fit in the front, but it also has this built-in wallet in the front. So that's where your built-in wallet is. And I did not utilize it because I will show you the wallet that I've been using in the main compartment. So it has your clear place for your driver's license and then four different areas down here for credit card slots and they are facing you. I like them when they face you and they're not away from you. If you did want to utilize this wallet, it does have four credit card slots and a clear plastic area. So that's all about the front pocket. And then like I said, it has a single zip. Oops, let's put the key leash back in there. So it'll zip. Put those back in there. Okay, so behind that is that magnetic compartment for your cell phone, so that's completely felt lined. Now, let me just tell you, I have the middle part that is completely packed full, so it's kind of bulking inside this, so I'm not really sure that it would be easy with everything I have packed in the middle to get the cell phone in there and out very nicely, but it does fit, but as packed as I have the inside, it's kind of a little bit harder to get it in there, so that's just something to keep in mind. However, you pack the middle will be how well you can get into your cell phone pocket if that makes any sense if you pack it really full it's going to be hard to get in and out of this but if it's not really full and bulky then this will fit in here no problem it is felt lined and it is that designated cell phone area so let's just go ahead and go down to the back of it, it says a zipper on the back of it and all i have in here is a notepad just in case i need to make any kind of notes or anything like that and this actually came i think out of that first um, surprise box that lug had it says create your own rainbow every day that's really cute and then in the back here it has that lining again in the back it has 
two little slots right here for pins. So I just have one in there. I have one of the pins in there, but it has two slots and that's all it's in the back. Again, because I have the middle pack so full, I didn't want to bulk this out too much. So I just put a little bit. You can put more stuff in here because it does have a lot of room. You can see how much room is in there, but because I have the middle pack so much, I was not able to put a lot because it did bulk into the back as well. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're packing that middle, but I do have the middle packed very, very full. So I wanted to show you everything that it can fit in here. Let's just go on to this next. This is one of the best features I love. I love the scoop so much because it has this little grab handle because I love to just throw this in my passenger seat when I'm going in the car. And then when I'm ready to come in the house, I just like to be able to grab it and then just carry it in like this, not have to worry about putting it over my shoulder or anything like that. And when I'm coming in the house, at the end of the day. So this is a really great grab handle. It is fabric. It does not have the rubber grips like some of them do. Let's just go into the middle. So it does have double zippers, which I really love. And just watch this. It zips almost all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna show this to you side. So you can see I have this really packed, but it opens wide. Look how wide this opens. It has this really nice gusset right here. So it's a really wide opening. And that's why I said I don't like the north-south orientation as much as the east-west, just because I feel like small things can get lost in those taller bags. But this, because it has this gusset, you're able to just, like I can look down and see everything that's in there, even the things that I have on the bottom. So that's really nice feature. That's just this is what that's what I really like about this bag is this gusset. If it didn't have this gusset right here, I don't think I would like this bag. But because it does, and you can fit all of this stuff in here really well, it packs a punch. It has a lot of stuff. It has a lot of room for a lot of things in a medium crossbody. Because I would still consider this medium. I wouldn't consider this large or maybe a medium to large. But this does hold a lot of stuff, and it looks it still looks really nice. It doesn't look real bulky at your hip or anything like that. So let's just get into all the things that I've got packed in here. And then I wanted to show you a few of the other lug bags that would fit in here as well. So I do have a full size water bottle that fits really nicely standing up. And then this particular water bottle can also fit in one of the cargo pockets that's in here. But I also wanted to see if a swell bottle would fit and it doesn't. So this is one of the 17 ounce swell bottles. And I tried to put it in that same area, but as you can see, it is a little bit taller. So it's not gonna fit, but one of the nine ounces would definitely fit for sure. And then I also wanted to see if one of my kids cups would fit in here. So this is one of those little thermoses so it is a little bit smaller as you can see than the water bottle but it fits in there no problem either standing up but it will not fit in the cargo pockets it's too it's too big around on the bottom to be able to fit in one of the cargo pockets all right and next to the water bottle i just had my sunglasses so i actually have my sunglasses in this kind of bulky sunglass holder and so it fits really nicely in the middle part too without any kind of problem and then next i just had this jib and this palm sunset so i have it standing up but it would also fit laying down too so if you wanted to put it at the bottom or at the top it would work sideways as well too so in this all i have is some contact solution and some contacts extra contacts if i need them and i just have this setting spray for my face you know if you're wearing masks and you just Feel like you just want to refresh in your face i love to have this with me so that i can just spray it and just feel refreshed throughout the day and then also have a chapstick this actually has a tint to it so this is in the sunset nude tint it's a real pretty berry color so it's really good for this time of year but i think it's really good and moisturizing especially in the winter time you need that and then just some eye drops in case i need them so that's what i have in the jib and it fits really nicely in there and then it also will fit the small and i'll show you a little bit later some of the other things that will fit with lug bags but it also fits one of the small envelopes and this is in that um, Concord purple color. And what I have in here is just like a small, simple first aid kit. I have Band-Aids and antibiotic ointment for my kids if they scrape themselves or anything like that and need that. I also have steroid cream in here in case my oldest that has eczema has any breakouts and I will put it on him. And then I also have just some ibuprofen in here because ibuprofen is my drug of choice. It works for everything, a headache, anything, it works for it. And then also I have this little CeraVe healing ointment in here. This comes in a larger tube, but I actually have a sample of this because it came with some lotion that I got. And I really love it because it's really great for dry patches that you might get especially in the winter time, this is really good. Or if you have like a cut or anything like that, you can put it on there and it kind of soothes it and makes it a little bit better. So I have that in there. So let's all have this little envelope pouch, but that fits in there real nicely. And then at the bottom, I just have a knife that I always have, an LED light, you never know if you need a light, and then just a mirror in the bottom. So all of that that you just saw was what was in the middle. So I haven't even shown you what's in the organized pocket. So let's just go ahead and look at the back of it. And so you have, just flip this out so we can see it a little bit better. You have the zipper in the back, so you have a privacy zipper. So all I have in there are little feminine products. So of course we don't need to get those out, but I like those in there because they're kind of out of sight, out of mind, but they're there in case you ever need them. 
and nobody sees them when they're looking in your bag. And then in the back right here, you have this really nice, big, full length cargo pocket. So this is really nice. It's not felt lined, it's just a regular cargo pocket. But what I have in here is my wallet. So it fits a tandem really nicely in there sideways. It'll fit exactly like, it's almost like that cargo pocket was made for the tandem wallet. So I had this one in the Florette Purple and I just received this. I showed this to you in a look haul. This was one of my latest look hauls and I've been using it ever since. I don't know why I never had this wallet because it is amazing. So you can put your cell phone in the front of that. Then it has the part in the back for your change. And then inside, just look how much room you have for all credit cards. And then this clear spot down here for your license and then the area in the middle where you can put a pen. That is really nice. Look how that, look how that small world looks with the Florette Purple. That looks really good together. All right, so that's what I have in that back cargo pocket. So it will fit the tandem wallet really nicely. And then when you go around to the front of it, pull that back again, you have your clear plastic area right here. But let me just go ahead and go to the cargo part so I can get these out of the way so you can see the clear plastic area. So in it has two cargo pockets. So in one of them, I have an Eco Shopper really nicely fits in there. And this is in the rainbow navy color. And then I also have a little coin purse in there. I love to have my gift cards in there to keep them in there. And that fits really nicely in there. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you a wallet that fits in there really good too. And then you have the clear plastic lining zipper part, which I really love because you can just kind of look at what you've got in there. And I just have some chapstick, a lip gloss, a trial size lipstick, and then a lip oil. So I just have some lip products in here for those dryer months. And that's all that I have inside the Ranger. So this is a really nice bag because, and of course it's really lightweight when it's empty. This is a really nice bag because you can see all of the things that I was able to pack in there. It will also fit really nicely a camera bag. So the camera, it's a G7X and it fits really nicely in here, but it does not fit in the cargo pockets. So if I were to take it out of my case, which I really wouldn't want to have a camera in there without a case, it actually does fit in the cargo pocket. So as you can see, the camera does fit in the cargo pocket if you wanted to take it out of a case. Um, but again, I don't like my cameras to get scratched or anything like that. So it's gonna stay in my case, but the case will fit in there too. And then also I wanted to show you this. The Metro, if you got the Metro in that holiday box in this pretty rosewood red color, it's a gorgeous color. It fits exactly in one of the cargo pockets as well. So you can see that it will fit right there in one of the cargo pockets. So if you have the Metro, that'll fit in there nicely. I'm hoping they'll come out with some more of those and some more colors because that's a really nice wallet. And then I showed you that it will fit the small size envelope, but it will also fit a medium size. So you can put it in there, but it will also actually fit sideways in the back cargo pocket. So you can put that, you can see, it fits right there in the back cargo pocket, that medium size, or if you're going, if you have the two piece, that larger size will fit right there in that cargo pocket. And then I also have like the um, three piece, the ones that have the fabric on the side, it's called the transport envelopes, I think that's what they're called, I think in the Palm Sunset. Um, but the larger one does not fit. I tried the large one. I'll just show you that if you try to stand it up, it would not fit. And of course, sideways, it would fit in here, but a really, really tight fit if you wanted to do it sideways. You'd kind of have to tuck it in and everything like that for the larger one. But the medium, because it's the same size as those other ones, does fit in that cargo pocket in the back, or you could also stand it straight up and it would fit. And of course the small one definitely fits because you saw that I had a first aid kit in that other one. It fits in there, but it does not fit in the front cargo pockets, those smaller pockets. It will not fit in it, but of course it would fit in the back one if you wanted to put it standing up or sideways. I wanted to see if a mini trolley would fit in there because sometimes I like to put my tech gear in here. I'll put a um, power bank and some cords and earbuds and stuff in there if I want to. And I wanted to see if it would fit. And it does kind of fit standing up. If you wanted to have a mini trolley in here, it would definitely fit because it will close. Let's just make sure. So it will zip over a mini trolley, but it takes about half of the size. As you can see, it takes about half the size of your main compartment right here, but it will fit if you want it to fit. So I also wanted to see if my, if my iPad would fit in here, because I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll fit in this cargo pocket back here. Of course I have it on a case, but it does not fit. So I can't even tuck it in underneath here. So my regular size iPad does not fit. But my four-year-old, he has an Amazon Fire 8. I think it's an 8. Yeah, he has an 8, so it's one of the smaller ones. It fits really nicely in there. 
with room to spare up at the top. So if you put it in there without a case, but I'm sure even with the case, it will fit in there fine because it has a lot of room. There's like that much room on the top of it that it does have. And then my oldest boy, he has the Fire 10. It does not fit in here because the Fire 10 is actually bigger than the iPad, so it won't fit in here either. But the electronic that I have that will fit in here is a Fire 8. I think a 7 and an 8 are about the same, um, and both of those will fit in there. So, I think I've showed you all of the bags that I have from Lug that can fit in here and a few of them, a few things that won't fit in here. Okay guys, here is how the Ranger looks like on the body. And I actually paired this bouquet blue with this lavender because I think this looks really good together. I know there's not a lot of lavender out there in the Lug purses, but I think it's a really pretty look with this bouquet blue. I think it's really pretty. It's unexpected, but it's very, very pretty with it. So this is packed completely full, as full as I could get it and it's still not very heavy on the shoulders at all. So this is the length that I like to use the crossbody style, like kind of right here at the hip, but of course you can lower this down. Now these straps are a little bit thick on here, so um, it takes a little bit to get this down. Some of these will slide real easy, but this one seems to not be sliding as much. I'm sure it'll slide a little bit better the more you slide it back and forth and loosen this up, but here, is how it looks completely all the way down. So this is as long as it can get, so this will be great for those taller people. I'm 5'5 five five for reference, and so this will definitely be good for taller people. And of course, I'm gonna show it to you how it would look all the way up. So like I said, this is a little bit harder. It's not a real easy one to do. Well, it seems to be a little bit easier to tighten than loosen. These straps are definitely a thick, stiff strap. It was a little bit of work to get these adjusted. They're not real smooth and everything, like your thinner straps are a little bit smoother to move this back and forth, but this took a little bit of work. So these are a little bit stiffer and thicker, but the more I adjust it, the better I think it will be. So this is adjusted completely as short as it will get. So that's how it would look if you had it over your shoulder, which is really nice too, because it's for my frame, it's perfect for me just to rest my arm on that little area right there. So this is as short as it will get. And then I also showed you as long as it'll get as well. But I really love the grab handle on this, you guys. I mean, like the scoop has been one of my go-tos just because I love that grab handle on it. So the Ranger, I absolutely love because it has this grab handle as well. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this Lug Ranger video. Thanks again for all of your votes on which print placement for this bag and also Thank you for talking me into this bag because this was a great bag. I didn't think I wanted it at first, but I love the gusset opening where you can see everything that's in it and it fits really nicely against the hip and it's not too heavy even when it is completely packed. So I hope this video was helpful. I tried to just show you all kinds of bags that could fit in here and just everything that was possible to fit in here. I think this would also be a good diaper bag. You could use this as a diaper bag if you don't carry everything at the kitchen sink. This would fit a full size thing of wipes and diapers and an extra change of clothes and the cargo pockets. You could also fit bottles in there as well or sippy cups in there. I think this would be a really good small diaper bag. If somebody's looking for a really cute fashionable crossbody diaper bag, I think this would be a good one. I think you can fit a lot more stuff in here than you would think and it's not real bulk, big and bulky and your hands free. But I think that the Ranger is a great bag. I'm so glad you all talked me into getting it and this bouquet blue is a very gorgeous color. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. I had someone ask me to do a comparison between three different crossbody bags and that will be coming up next so stay tuned for that. I hope to see you in my next video and until then I hope you have a wonderful day.